I'm going to show you something that I've been working on today and recently and thinking about for about two years. And I originally didn't know if this was even possible. I had written EQCSS, which did element queries using a JavaScript runtime, uh, but we didn't have any way to compile that down to HTML and CSS, and I didn't even know if it was possible. So with a much more limited version of what you can do, I'm going to show you how to do server-side rendering or um, pre-compile element queries or container queries. So here I have some sample HTML. It is two div elements with a class of demo. And to one of them, just to show the element-based breakpoint, I've constrained the width of it a little bit. So even though these are both div class demo, they're going to be different widths on the page. Uh, to show you how you know the styles that are applying here are specific to the width of the elements, not specific to the width of the browser. So let's suppose that we have a CSS style sheet, something like this. Now this contains regular normal CSS, but it's also augmented by JS and CSS. So you'll see the interpolation here, and this is all JavaScript inside this. So this is calling a container query function the three arguments that we've supplied to the function are a CSS selector list, a JavaScript test, and a contained style sheet. In the style sheet, we are using a placeholder called this, which will represent each matching demo element that passes the test. So we have three container queries written here for these elements. Normally, we would put this on the page, uh, use JavaScript in real time to render out the style sheet that we need. But what I built is a little compiler that you can run on the command line, which will allow us to kind of flatten the HTML and CSS into just uh, regular HTML and CSS that can work without a runtime. So let's try this out. We can supply the HTML by saying uh, dash H and putting our HTML file. We can do the same with our styles with C. And then what we're going to do is we're going to define a range. So this could be from 0 to 2,000, uh, going you know from no width to 2,000 pixels wide. Or we could say only do it from you know 500 to 1,000. Um, for this demo, I'm going to do 100 to 1,500, because my screen is 1,400 wide. The other thing that we can do is we can define a step size for these snapshots. The default is 100 pixels, so that would mean that here we're going to take uh, one snapshot at 100, one at 200, 300, 400, all the way up to 1500. Um, if I made this fi every 500 pixels, there would be one at 100, one at 600, uh, you know, and so on. Um, and if I made it 50, <laughs> there would probably be uh, quite a few. <laughs> Uh, I think a good step size is 100. So let's go with that. And the last thing we need to do is either specify verbose output, which means to print it in the command line, or to put a uh, output file name where we can render out the HTML and CSS that we generate. So first, just to make sure that this is working right, I'm going to do it here in the command line. And what's going on right now is the compile script is actually running a headless web browser and resizing it. Each time it resizes, it um, is adding attributes if it needs to, and then rendering out CSS, which is then wrapped in the snapshot size that we were capturing. So here we have our HTML. There's our first div. And uh, here's our second div. And you can see that these attributes have all been added. This one has a few less because it actually gains less styles because it's narrower. So I think we're ready to do this for real. So I'm going to say, um, oh, demo output.html. So if we hop over here, we'll just wait for this to pop up. Here's our output file. And let's test it in the browser. So when they're narrow, they have no background. 
And remember, it's supposed to be that at a breakpoint of 300, that demo element goes lime. At 600, that demo element goes blue. And at 900, that demo element goes red. So when we get just above 300 pixels here, we should see the first one go. Now we should see another update when that one hits 600. And the other one should go with it because half of 600 is 300. And so then another one, once we get up above 900, but I'm not sure my screen is wide enough to get the other one above 600. Oh, barely. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, we are doing, we've applied container queries to HTML, uh, flattened down to HTML and CSS, and uh, they're able to run with no JS runtime. We've done server-side container queries. So I hope you enjoy that and watch for an NPM package soon.